All right, guys, welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to give you my first initial impressions of the X-Pro3 and why I decided to trade my X100V for this camera. The X-Pro3 is a lot more than I anticipated for it to be, especially on a first impressions video. I took it out on some street photography and I was not used to not having a screen to look at. So that was really nice to kind of get me into the zone whenever I first took it out. It was very easy to use, um, although I was looking down quite a bit and it's just a constant reminder that I don't need to be doing that. It reminds me a lot of shooting with the Leica M240 because you're always focusing on your framing and your subject while you're actually focusing uh, manually. To me, this is on the same level as shooting with the M240 because you're very attentive to what's going on in front of you and your surroundings because you can have two eyes open at one time and see what's coming into the frame if you're shooting anything that is for photojournalism or any type of documentary work. I also really prefer the rangefinder cameras because I do have a large nose and I don't like my face pressed up against a camera like this because my face is sideways and that's not something that I really like. Uh, the X-T4 for example or any type of DSLR styled camera is exactly that way and I really prefer the rangefinder camera so it really works for me. The build quality is actually better than I expected. I had the X100V, the X-T4, the GFX, all of those cameras and I think the GFX would be the most robust but at the same time it just feels robust because the actual size. This build feels heftier and the weather ceiling seems more robust than all the other cameras that Fujifilm actually has. And that's something that I really like about this. I have the Duraplac edition, so it does it is scratch resistant. It does leave fingerprints quite bad, but you can wipe them off so easily, which is insane to me because it looks like a brand new camera once you wipe them off, since it is scratch resistant. It helps so much, and that is just a really cool fact about the X-Pro3. The image quality is obviously up to par with the X-T4, the X-100V, the X-C4, and the X-S10, I believe that's all of them. Um, so yeah, the image quality is great, uh, as you would expect. And really, it's coming down to preference more than anything, and I prefer this camera as of right now, probably because it's new to me, but it's just fun to use, and I like that a lot. So I love the hidden screen on it. I know that's the biggest issue with this camera and why a lot of people shy away from it but with the X-T4 I actually flip my screen inward to hide the screen quite often because it does the same thing for me as this does except it's permanent on this and not on the X-T4 so I think that having this just really helps me stay in the zone as far as photography and just pay attention more. I also shoot from the hip a lot and this allows me to do that and I shoot lower angles so I can do that easily and I don't shoot vertical very often unfortunately I know that's kind of the way things are going as far as Instagram but for me I like to shoot horizontal it's just kind of the way my brain's wired now and that's just kind of the way I shoot so. If I could change a few things, I would want a larger battery like the X-T4 and the X-T5. I know it would make the grip a little girthier, uh, which that wouldn't be that bad, bad of a thing because it could use a little bit more grip to it. Also, IBIS would be incredible to have on this camera. People also talk about having different finishes like a bronze finish, so whenever you're using it quite often, it uh, kind of has a bronze undercoating, which people like for Leica, but I don't know if I would really like that or not. Uh, it just depends. I think you would have to pay a hefty amount of money for that. I guess if you plan on keeping it forever, then that would be cool, but they could also do something with a screen where, and I'm not sure if this is even possible, but like the X-T4, if they had the subscreen still where you see the little screen on the back but it could flip out and turn just like the xt4 that would be really cool the body would just obviously have to have an inset inside so when you flip the screen it actually meshes with the body i think that would be kind of neat uh, but yeah that's just an idea
really at the end of the day this is a wonderful camera it's just a really nice rangefinder styled camera which works well for me and it's weather sealed it's very robust it works very quickly it's fast it's uh, got great image quality the weather ceiling is awesome and it's everything that you could want from a camera in my opinion unless you need video which I don't for this situation strictly for photography and that's okay about me so I hope you guys enjoy these images and this video and I'll catch you guys next time peace